Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the Borealis Artifact. This board features Borealis's cam rocker. So camber underfoot, rocker in the tip and the tail. That camber is gonna give you all the load, pop, snap, and drive of this board, while that rocker in the tips is gonna give you ease of entry in and out of turns, as well as better powder float. This board's available in 158, 161, and 164 wide. I rode this board at Copper Mountain on a sunny bluebird day with fresh pow. You had chop chunder, a little bit of ice and crust underneath that fresh snow. It's just a good solid spring day. And I rode it with my Rome Black Label bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. This is a slightly stiffer all mountain free ride board with a directional flex with one key flex point we need to talk about right in front of that rear insert pack. That flex point really lets you sink the tail and raise the front of the board. You notice that. Now with it being a slightly directional flex pattern, you get softer nose that progressively stiffens up to the tail minus that flex point. The torsional flex is noticeable, but it is reactive and not sloppy. When it comes to stability, this board is very smooth and very stable. Even when you're hitting crust underneath, it's pushing and plowing through it with relative ease. This is a board that you're not gonna get bucked around on and you're not gonna feel a ton of chatter underfoot. So the interesting thing about this board is if you're going slow and you really aggressively load up the camber, you're getting minimal pop. But when you're hard charging, going balls to the wall and you load this board up, it gets more power out of the tail. It really snaps and it will boost. It's a board that is designed to charge hard and pop off everything in its place. But when you're being laid back, you're not gonna get that same amount of snap. It just sort of deadens the reaction to it. So you have to be aware of that. But when you're going fast and you wanna boost off everything in front of you, go for it. You can butter on this thing, but it's a chore. It's, it's a real workout. You've gotta leverage your weight way out over those rocker zones and push into it harder than you think. This board has a very quick edge to edge power transmission and you initiate it off the front foot, but you drive it and steer it right under foot. This is gonna help you with that torsional flex, which is noticeable, but responsive, let you do quick tight turns and even medium mellow carbs. Now, when you're getting really saucy and you're laying it over and you're pushing into that camber zone, it disengages the front foot and it becomes one of those very rear foot dominant steering boards and you can lay this board over trust me you can really really lay this board over and leave a nice trench there is power out of every carve with this whether you want it or not it's a board that kind of demands you be a little bit more on top of your game than laid back who's this board for the all mountain free ride guy this board is solid, and I mean super, super solid. I thoroughly enjoyed riding this board. It's damp where it counts, it's lively where you need it, and it really comes alive at speed. You've got that flex point right in front of the rear foot, which really lets it sink, and it works with the taper on this board to get that nose elevated and fresh pow. But when you're on a groomer, you can carve with it. And overall, like I said, it's just a solid ride. This thing really wowed me with how good it was. Comparable boards, the Ride Deep Fake, the Capita Black Snowboard of Death, the Yes Pick Your Line on Ink. Finding recommendations, the Battalion Astro Full Wrap, the Now Select Pro, the Bent Metal Transfer. This has been my review of the Borealis Artifact. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you going to buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you want to support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.